Hello, welcome to Modern Analytics Academy Vineyards. If you're not familiar with Modern Analytics Academy, please definitely visit aka.ms MAA. My name is Pradeep Singla. I'm a cloud solution architect with Microsoft Global Partner Solution Team. The main motivation behind giving these vineyards is to help our partners to know about the new features and how to use them and answer their frequently asked questions we receive from them and updates to a previous session. So today we're going to talk about Azure Synapse Link for SQL. In general, all uh, modern analytics academy sessions are uh, touch one of these five pillars of data analytics. And Azure Synapse Link for SQL touch the pipeline one. Let's jump into today's topic. Um, what is Azure Synapse Link for SQL? Why we need it? And then we will talk about some of its use cases. Then I will give you a little demo how to how to enable it and how to use it. So in the overview section, we will talk about different offerings of Synapse Link and then the basic architecture of Synapse Link for SQL. Then we will understand the architecture of Synapse Links for Azure SQL database, as well as the architecture of Synapse Link for on-premise SQL Server 2022. So we have Synapse Links available for Cosmos DB for SQL as well as for Dataverse. But this video is only for the Synapse links for SQL. And if you want to know more about the Synapse link for Cosmos DB and Dataverse, please definitely visit our other vineyards. Now let's talk about Azure Synapse Link for SQL. Azure Synapse Link for SQL is an automated system for replicating your data from your operational databases to dedicated SQL pool in Azure Synapse Analytic. Now the question is why we need it. Data-driven quality insights are getting more imp uh, important for businesses to stay more competitive. And the speed to achieve those insights can make all the difference. The costly and the time-consuming nature of ETL or ELT pipelines are no longer enough. The process of setting up a link from your SQL database to Azure Synapse Analytics takes just a few clicks or a matter of minutes rather than hours or days of traditional ETL process. After your Synapse link is configured, your initial data is replicated into the target dedicated SQL pool. After the initial table seeding, changes made to your source data are replicated in near real time. You control the size of Azure Synapse Analytic dedicated SQL pool, as well as the number of cores used to ingest the data, and your source systems handles making the data available for ingestion. Now, you don't have to manage any ETL or ELT pipelines. Any incremental changes in your Azure SQL database or on-premise SQL will be replicated to dedicated SQL pool in near real time. Now let's understand how Azure Synapse Link for SQL works on the back end. It uses some of the latest technologies to make the data movement very simple and efficient. We will talk more about these technologies in the next slide. Let's see how these technologies helps to move the data from your Azure SQL database to Synapse dedicated SQL pool. Change feed processor is the new feature which helps to support the data synchronization between the source transactional system and the, your Synapse dedicated SQL pool. Any, any changes happening on your source database system, all those incremental changes will be pushed to ADLS Gen 2 by the change feed processor. ADLS Gen 2 act like a landing zone for the data coming from your source system. So this landing zone helps to minimize the impact of the connections on your source database systems. And dedicated SQL pool is the ultimate target for the data coming from your source systems. And the last service is the ingestion service, which helps to move the data from the landing zone to dedicated SQL pool. The most important thing here to note is that you don't have to manage any, any of these services. All these services are managed by the Microsoft to make your data available. Once you enable the Synapse link for SQL, for your Azure SQL database, 
automatically the ADL is sent to account and the ingestion service will be created for you. Let's see how it will be different in the case of on-premise SQL. All the services will be managed by the Microsoft here too, except the ADL is sent to account. You have to create the ADL as Gen2 account by yourself, and you also have to install self-hosted integration runtime on your on-premise SQL system. It acts like a broker between the two environments. Let's talk about some of the key benefits of using Azure Synapse Link for SQL. The first benefit is you will get a near real-time analytics. You are getting rid of the latency caused by the ETL or ELT pipelines. You are bringing all the incremental changes uh, to your dedicated SQL pool in near real-time. So you will be able to run near real-time analytics on your operational data. Second benefit is you don't have to manage any ETL or ELT pipelines. You don't have to manage any ETL packages or warehouse schema. You just have to choose which table you want to replicate. You just have to provide the distribution method and the storage architecture, and you will be able to copy your incremental changes to your dedicated SQL pool. And the third benefit is data consolidation. Azure Synapse Link for SQL helps you to combine the data from multiple operational databases into your dedicated SQL pool, which you can use for analytical workload. And the fourth benefit is you're putting the minimal impact on your source system. Traditional ETL or ELT pipelines can put extra load on your operational system when they query for data changes. But in the case of Synapse Link for SQL, change feed processors, watches for changes, and are efficiently moving those changes to a landing zone, which is ADLS Gen 2. That's how it is minimizing the impact of extracting changes from your source system. Let's talk about some of the use cases of uh, Azure Synapse Link for SQL. One use case could be in the organization who have like a hybrid data model. They want to keep their operational data at on-premise and they want to keep their analytical data on, on the cloud. So that's where they can use the Synapse Link for SQL to move their operational data uh, for the analytical purposes to the cloud. And the second use case for the organization who are acquiring a lot of other sub-organizations and they want to bring their disparate systems from the acquired organization to a centralized location. So these are some reference links to get a step-by-step -step guide instructions to enable Synapse link for Azure SQL database or on-premise SQL server. Now let's jump into the another important part of this session is to get a practical experience how to enable Azure Synapse Link for Azure SQL database. I'm not covering here the how to enable it for the on-premise SQL. Please definitely visit the reference link to get the uh, get a step-by-step -step guide for on-premise SQL. Before playing with the Azure Synapse Link for SQL, make sure that you have Azure SQL DB account set up in your Azure account, as well as Azure Synapse Analytical Workspace set up in your Azure account. Now go to your Azure portal and search Azure SQL. So you will see that I have multiple accounts related to Azure SQL, but for this demo, I have created Testing Synapse Link SQL DB account. I already have created one table in this uh, DB. Uh, I can query that uh, table to show you what data it has. So you can see, I just have two rows of data. I, now I want to copy this data to my dedicated SQL pool using Synapse Link for SQL. So you will see that without uh, creating any ETL pipelines, this data will be copied to the dedicated SQL pool. Now go to portal again and search for Synapse Analytics. So for this demo, I have created uh, testing Synapse Link Synapse workspace. Once you will go here, if you will open the studio, this is where you will land up. And now, first, now you have to create a link connection to fetch the data from your Azure SQL DB to dedicated SQL pool. So go to the integrated uh, icon, click on this plus sign, and this is where you will 
create the link connection. You will see what are the source type from where you want to fetch the data. So as an app link for SQL is available for Azure SQL as well as from on-premise SQL. So based on where you want to fetch the data, you can select that particular option. So in, in our demo, I'm using Azure SQL DB. And then you have to create a link service. Link service is nothing, it's just a connection string, which allows a Synapse Analytic Workspace to connect to your Azure SQL DB. So just go ahead and create a new linked service. Now provide the details of your Azure SQL DB account. Provide the subscription under which your Azure SQL DB account exists and provide the SQL Server information. So that is testing Synapse link in my case and provide the database name, so which is master and provide the authentication type. So there, there are various ways to authenticate to SQL Server. One is the SQL authentication and another is the managed identity and the third is service principle. But we always recommend to go with the system managed identity. But for the demo purposes, I'm using SQL authentication. Then provide the username and password of your SQL Server account. And you are ready to go. You just create the connection and verify the connection. Once your connection will be created, you will be able to see uh, the link service under under the, uh, under this drop down list. So it's already created on my account. So I'm using that link service. Now it will show me all the tables uh, under my SQL DB account. So I, as I showed you before, I just have a one, uh, my test table. I want to copy this table from my Azure SQL DB to my dedicated SQL pool. And then it's gonna ask you the target. So, which is my dedicated SQL pool, which is, I have given the name testing link. So continue from here. And then it's gonna ask you, you can give the any link connection name you want to give. And then it will ask you how many cores you want to use, which will be used for copying the data from your uh, source data system to uh, target data. So I, we always recommend to go from the lowest one and based on your need, you can always increase it. So yeah, that's all what you have to do. Then your link connection will be created. Now under the link connection, you can see your source table is my test table. You want to copy it to target table. This is the name you want to give on the target side. Um, and you can specify what type of distribution you want to specify. You, and you can also specify the structure type, like in which index format you want to store the data into your dedicated SQL pool. Once all these things will be set up, please publish it so that your changes will be stored in your analytical workspace. Once uh, it will be published, just click on start button, your link connection will be started. It will start copying the data from your source database to your dedicated SQL pool. It will take some like three, four minutes uh, to make the link connection start working. So you can always monitor the progress of the link connection under the link connection tab. So if you go here, it will show you like uh, which that uh, particular table it is copying right now from your source database to your target database. Now go to your data icon to see that uh, how much data got copied. So if you see here, um, it will show you like how many rows right now are there in your dedicated SQL pool. So you can see we have five rows. So go back to your Azure SQL database. We also have five rows here, right? Now let's in insert the new uh, new uh, row in here in your Azure SQL database. Let's see how fast it will be copied into your dedicated SQL pool. So you can see the new row with the primary key seven also got copied. So that is the benefit of Azure Synapse link for SQL. Um, your data is copied from your Azure SQL database to dedicated SQL pool in your real time without creating any traditional ETL pipelines. So that's it for today's session. Thank you for listening to us today. If you're interested in any other session, please definitely visit aka.ms slash MAA. Thank you.